Hey guys, quick backstory to this video. I removed the engine from my car to perform a few upgrades on it. One of these upgrades is going to be roller rockers, uh, upgraded valve springs, and new push rods. And in order to remove the valve springs, you need a valve spring compressor tool, which I went out and I bought one. So this is the valve spring compressor tool that I went out and bought. I've seen similar ones and they all require you to remove the head off your engine to compress the valve spring. And I know there's some tools out there that don't require you to do that, but this one here advertises right on the box, right here, that it says it can be used in conjunction with compressed air adapter to replace valve springs and seals without removing the cylinder head. I thought maybe there'd be some kind of attachment on the inside that would let you do that, but there isn't. So since the parts store is closed and I don't have access to another valve spring compressor tool, I'm gonna to show you guys how to improvise and make your own, hopefully with a few things that you just have laying around the garage. In my case, I just went in my toolbox and I found an old steering, pull, steering wheel puller that I had laying around. You guys can also just use a flat piece of steel. I would probably recommend that it's gotta be a quarter inch thick or bigger. The other thing you're gonna to need to do is just head over to your engine and you're just gonna measure the distance between the rocker bolt and your valve stem. So measure the distance between the two and you're gonna to need to pop a hole in your steel, piece of steel for the uh, original rocker bolt. And then a certain distance away, whatever, however distance it was to your uh, valve stem, uh, you're gonna to have to create a slot in the piece of steel that you have. And in my case, I just had to enlarge the existing slot in my steering wheel puller. The next thing you're gonna to have to do is measure the opening in your retainer. And you want your slot position this here you want your slot to go over top of that hole and not interfere with the valve stem which would be in the center or the keepers which are also in the center that you're going to be removing so as you can see I just took an angle grinder and ground out the uh, the slot here just to be a slightly larger and now when I go to compress my spring I can remove the keepers and it won't interfere with the valve stem so now I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this tool that you just made so grab your tool here. As you can see, I used a old rocker arm bolt, some washers. Like I said, the tool that you made, this side is the side that's been ground down to fit over top of the retainer. And the only other thing that you're gonna need is a socket. I chose one that was big enough that it wouldn't fall into the engine in any place where I wouldn't be able to retrieve it or get it out. <clears throat> now in preparation uh, for removing your valve springs, make sure your engine is at top dead center. I already went ahead and did that. This is because you don't wanna drop a valve in the engine. The whole reason we're doing this in the first place is because we do not wanna remove the cylinder head. If you drop a valve in your engine, it's a bad day and you will be removing your cylinder head to retrieve it. So I went ahead, pistons at top dead center. I've already removed the rockers, so those are gone and they're out of the way. And now let's get started and remove a valve spring. Okay, so let's get started here. The first thing we need to do is take that socket. In my case, it's an 18 millimeter socket. And I'm just gonna place it right above the pedestal mount, just like that. And it's just gonna balance there, no problem. Take the tool that we made with the original rocker arm bolt, and I'm gonna place the bolt in the original hole and I'm gonna hand thread it in. This is very important, thread it by hand. You don't wanna force it in with a wrench or anything and cross thread your head because that will also be a very bad day. So once it's in, you can see right there that, those, that that slot that we had ground open is positioned right on top of the retainer and everything is accessible from the top. Now sometimes the the keys or the keepers are a little bit stuck and so if you compress this right away they might actually push the valve down uh, because they're they're stuck. So what I like to do is I like to take just a little blunt edged whatever you need hammer and just give them a little tap And that's typically enough to, to free them up so they won't be stuck. And now 
You can go ahead, take your socket wrench, and you can start tightening down on your tool. And you'll see, if you see, look carefully, you'll see that the, the keepers are being freed up. Before you go any farther, you don't want to drop these into your engine. It's nice to have a little magnet close by where you might be able to pick these up and out. It looks like the spring needs to be compressed a little bit more. And you can see that they're pretty freed up. So that's one. This one here is not free yet. In this case, it looks like I may have to try and push the valve down to free that one up. So you can just take a screwdriver and pry against the spring a little bit just to move it down a little. And then again, use your magnet to remove the keeper. And there it is. Now you can just loosen the bolt. Remove it by hand. And that's it. Spring and retainer are out. And you made a tool that can do this for literally no money. Hope that helps you guys. Good luck with uh, removing your valve springs. And I hope you don't drop a valve. See you next time. <laughs>